Welcome to Inside the Lines, hosted by the Jacksonville Onslow Sports Commission. My name is Ashley Backert, and today we're going to be talking about the Jacksonville Area Soccer Association and Jacksonville High School indoor soccer tournament, as well as the Zing Zom Children's Museum 5K and One Mile and Kids Run happening in February. Hey, Ron. Nice to have you with us. I wanted to sit down and talk with you about the indoor soccer tournament that you guys are hosting in January, the 18th through the 20th, and just want to get a little bit of information from you on who exactly is involved with this tournament. Well, of course, the uh, JASA, mm -hmm. Jacksonville Area Soccer Association, Jacksonville High School, and we get a lot of assistance and major help from the Jacksonville Recreation Department Excellent. at the Commons. So give me an idea, how many teams are we looking at, what age groups, what exactly is going to be happening with the tournament? We'll just... Uh, it's open. Uh, we'll, we'll try to go 10 years old up to 18, and the numbers will just depend on uh, how many teams will just depend on how the age groups apply whenever they, you know, whenever they uh, start sending their uh, registrations. We have to balance out the age groups to make the, the tournament work for the right number of teams. Historically, what numbers, kind of numbers, have you guys had? Uh, we all have anything from uh, 70 to 100. That's crazy to me. 70 to 100 soccer teams coming in. Where are they coming from? Give us an idea. Of course, in the past, all of Onslow County, mm -hmm. uh, Carteret, uh, Craven, Duplin, uh, Wilmington, uh, Greenville. We've had Raleigh, nice. Goldsboro. I mean, you just it, it, it'll change every year. Some kids like to do different tournaments, so they might stay out a year and then show up the next year. But it, pretty much the east, Perfect. all the way up to Washington. As oh, far as wow. Washington. Okay, so we've got a pretty good regional basis on indoor soccer. Uh, yes, quite a bit. We've had, uh, we've had one of the largest tournaments, uh, indoor tournaments in the United States for a certain period of time, back, this is a few years back, uh, when we hit that 100 mark, 103, 104. That's insane. Well, thank you so much for being a part of that. Um, tell me more about this partnership with JASA. And between the two of you, I know the Commons is doing a great job in helping us host it, but really, JASA seems to be one of the main partners. Well, well, JASA is, uh, you have to go way back in the history of soccer in Onslow County. Uh, that is, other than the high school situation. Whenever the, uh, the local kids started you know, wanting to get involved in soccer, the local area teams got together and started forming their own clubs, uh, the Swansboro Association, the Jacksonville Area Association, Piney Green, and then uh, they all fell under the East Carolina Soccer Association bracket, mm -hmm. ECSA, and then uh, as the teams got bigger and bigger and more kids became involved in soccer, the local team helped started pushing kids toward the high school, yeah. and then the high school started uh, their programs, and it's just uh, it's still a continual partnership because they provide the, the needed players mm -hmm. that will eventually leave their youth programs and go into the high school programs. So it's one, we depend on them, mm -hmm. you know, to, to get them started and then we take them and then we'll push them on to college. Perfect. And I, I really just want to touch on this as my last question, but what has this meant to you? I know that you were kind of one of the founders of soccer in Onslow County and a huge push to make Onslow County, the hub and kind of that hotbed of soccer in the state of North Carolina. What does this mean to you all these years later, seeing it kind of come to fruition? Well, and I'm, I'm way back on the cog on the beginning of soccer <laughs> in Onslow County. Um, there's, there was a, you know, quite a few people that really got the organization going. Mm -hmm. I was just fortunate enough to play college soccer and then started teaching in Onslow County 39 years ago. Then we wanted to start Soccer Jackson High School. They asked me to, you know, get it, get it rolling here. And uh, it's, I guess, you know, it's gone by so fast, I hadn't really thought about it that way, to be honest with you. <laughs> we haven't given you time for reflection yeah, yet. No, no. But, well, I'm still, uh, I still watch him play every game, mm -hmm. you know, home games and all. And Coach Miller's picked it up after I got out of it. And he's mm -hmm. kept it rolling and done some great things with the, his, you know, his soccer programs here at Jacksonville. But if you just look at, you know, um, White Oaks had some great state champions, mm -hmm. uh, Dixon, Southwest, Richlands, Swansboro. Swansboro many, and Jacksonville. And so uh, soccer was a fit that the particular kids coming through this area identified with 
They got really bought into the program. They took it running. They wanted to get better. They wanted to improve. Indoor soccer is just a, a, another training aid between the, the two seasons. Mm -hmm. And it just enables the kid the, the, what we're, the way we're playing it now, the futsal program. And uh, it just helps develop their skills and it just makes a better program. And it, it, it benefits all the high schools. And Onslow County has been a recipient of some great soccer over the last uh, 30 years. Great. Well, I wanted to thank you again um, for being a part of this and for helping host it. 20 years, it's obviously a staple here in Onslow County, and we just we couldn't do it without you and your help and JASA and the Commons um, with the city of Jacksonville. So thank you again for being here, and thank you again for helping really expose soccer um, and continue that success within the county. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Now from running on a court, kicking around a soccer ball, we're going to head to the track where we run around neighborhoods. I'm here with Chris Phelps and we're going to be talking about the upcoming run on February 15th. Chris, give us an idea. First off, what's the name of the run? Let's okay. tell everybody about the run. Okay, the, the run is our second annual Zing Zum children's family run uh, and sponsored by Don Williamson Nissan. Uh, we love them over there. They're doing great things for our community, so I'm glad yes, they're helping yes, you guys out. We're, we're just so pleased for their support. Yes. Been... So what are the goals for the second annual run? Well, of course, we're excited that we're having a second annual run <laughs> because uh, our first one was fairly successful, we thought. Uh -huh. And our goal is to, again, provide a day of uh, fun for the children and their families out here at Jacksonville High School uh, with our races and children's activities. So so give me an idea of what the 5K runners, because it's a 5K and then you have children. So let's talk about the the longer run first. Okay. The long. Well, we also have a one mile. Okay. So, and a one mile can be you can walk it or you can run it and then we have the 5k which uh, we had a lot of participants in last year which would be timed and uh, which everyone was excited about <laughs> and that leaves here from the Jacksonville High School track and weaves its way through the Northwoods area and we're here at Jacksonville High School also because we hope to uh, be going into the old fire station on Barn Street once the new fire station is uh, built out here on Gum Branch. So this is our neighborhood and that's why we're here at Jacksonville uh, to do the race and as they race they'll weave through the neighborhood and return to the finish line here uh, on the track. Uh, so that and the one mile goes out one mile and comes mm -hmm. back as and then the 5k finishes here also. Uh, but we also have children's races. This is the best part. So if you've never been to this and you have little kids, you have to come to this because it's cute and it is so much fun. So, okay, now you can okay. jump in. Um, well, we didn't know what to expect <laughs> last year when we planned this because it was our first time. There'll be a 400, a 150 for kids, mixed groups uh, uh, around the track. Mm -hmm. What was so cute? was that the parents were running inside on the field beside their children as they're running the races. It was just darling. And uh, we have different age groups. There would be youth groups of four to six, six to eight, a toddler trot for ages one through three, and the best part for last, a diaper dash out here in the middle of the field for 12 months and younger. And we were just captivated by that. All these little babies crawling and the adults cheering. It was just such a family fun time, and which is what our Children's Museum is all about, providing, well, we hope inside of a building, <laughs> interactive games and things for uh, activities for children. But this is our, our way of promoting uh, family fun together and our museum, our awareness of our museum. Yes, and we couldn't be more pleased. Um, we were here last year and got a chance to watch the runners come through and they had a great time. The kid portion, like I said, really, it stole my heart. Um, I have a three-year-old. She will be out here this year um, to compete because it's just, it's great to get that sense of athletic activity instilled at them, but they get medals. Yes, and I, yeah. So they feel like they're really a part of the run and they've accomplished so much. It's, it's wonderful. It absolutely is. It, it was really, uh, yes, there's music, 
medals, noisemakers at the finish line for all age groups, mm -hmm. and something different this year we're adding in center field are other activities for children. So here's just for all of you listening that are trying to decide whether to come or not, we are exactly. going to have an obstacle course for children to participate in, uh, uh, sack races, hula hoop contests, craft events, and face painting. So, and we know how f popular face painting is. So uh, we are excited about that. Our sponsors, Don Williamson and, and our gold, silver, and bronze sponsors all have the opportunity to be on the field to promote their business, to do games for children, mm -hmm. and uh, as well as our water and bananas, you know, so. Um, <laughs> Gotta keep everyone hydrated. Yeah, we have to have the right stuff. So uh, we have added some more to it for the, and, and plus the t-shirt mm -hmm. um, is part of your registration packet that uh, you will receive. So how do they register? Okay, registration, well, this year we're going to offer it at some retail sites here in town, mm -hmm. as well as online at active.com. Okay. Our website is wonderful too. If you would just go to zingzum.org, all the details of the race are there, but also the history of us and what we've been doing to promote and raise awareness for our children's museum, having a children's museum here in Jacksonville. Well, we are so lucky to have you and your group um, doing everything you do. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to rival the cities to the north and the south of us, and a children's museum I know is going to be used by not just the community, but military, I mean, just by the whole entire county. And we're so excited to be helping you um, get the word out as well as raise those funds to kind of continue along the project. And yes, just thank you so much. This is a phenomenal event. If you have not been to it, obviously it's the second one. So if you didn't come last year, come out this year. It's going to be phenomenal. The group, they are a well-organized group. They know what they're doing. They have a blast. And we just, we couldn't ask for a better organization within our own community. So Chris, thank you so okay. much. Well, we thank you too. We couldn't do this it. without you. <laughs> so um, again, it's zingzom.org and Come and join us out on February 15th. Thanks for joining us for Inside the Lines, hosted by the Jacksonville Onslow Sports Commission, where freedom and sports come together. Yeah.